Hello everyone, this is Manfred from GP Scraper and I've made a video where I will show you how to set up the SMTP configuration for the mass email feature. And we'll start with setting up a Gmail account. I have one here and I will configure the SMTP settings for my Gmail account. I'll go to the options, the mail settings, and then in the forwarding and pop IMAP tab, I look here in the IMAP access and I select to enable the IMAP and then I save the changes and then the IMAP is enabled which also enables the S7TP and then I want to know what settings I need to use for this so I look again in the forwarding and pop IMAP tab there is configuration instructions down here and we'll have a look at those for the general instructions and there we will get the settings that we need to use in GP Scraper. So we'll start GP Scraper again And I'll go to the mass email tab. I'll set myself as the sender. And I'll have a test email as a subject. For the SMTP host, I can find it here. The outgoing SMTP server should be SMTP dot gmail dot com so I'll just copy paste that and then for the port I will either use 465 or 587 so far the ones that works best is 587 and because this is uh, gmail they require uh, uh, authentication with SSL as well so we'll need to check that box and then the uh, username is the full email address so it's again the full email address for this account so I'll just copy that and then I enter my password and the next thing I want to do is to send a test email and after that I'll verify that the email was sent so let's try. Alright, the test email was sent successfully, so now I'll just go and have a look in Gmail and make sure it was sent properly. And it takes a while. Yeah, and there it shows up. Here we have test email as the subject and then in this test email it just sends this text so that's, that's all. Alright so now we know it works for Gmail uh, and then we'll also try it if you uh, have cPanel and you want to set up your own uh, SMTP with your own domain name. So we'll do the same thing again but with this time in cPanel. So I'll log in to my cPanel account Then I look at my email accounts and I'll create an email account for one of my domains here, avectris.com. I set the password for that.
then I create the account. Alright, so the account is created. Then I want to load the SMTP settings for that account. So I'll have a look here. Configure email client. And here's again the manual settings. The outgoing mail server is mail.electris.com and that that is of course uh, the one that you have to use the domain name that you want to use yourself. So I'll try again. Here I'll just replace this with the settings that I just created. And this time I will use port 26. And without without SSL. So without SSL and then the username is this so I'll just copy paste that into there and then I'll set the password then I'll send a new test email and let's see how it goes Alright, so the test email was sent successfully and I want to go to the webmail account for that email and let's see if it was sent. So let's see, we'll access it with Squirrel Mail. And yes, here we can see we have a test email again. This time with exactly the same text and everything. Alright, so that's the settings for the SMTP configuration in mass email. We have the email sender, that's the sender for each email. Then we have the subject. That's where you set the subject for the for all the emails. You have the SMTP host. That's where you set the email server name. Uh, the port is uh, the one you find in the settings or the configuration for whatever email service you're using. Same with SSL. In Gmail, SSL is required. And when you use a regular cPanel account, you, you can either use SSL or skip it. And then the SMTP username and password is the uh, fields that you need to fill in for authentication. And then you can verify that your settings are correct by trying to send a test email. And if the settings are incorrect, it will show uh, either an error box or a nice pop-up message where it says that you have to fix your configuration before you can continue. Alright, that's the SMTP configuration.